Welcome to History Spotlight. I'm Crystal Diff, Program Coordinator at History Services for Charlotte County Libraries and History, on location at the Palms and Pines Riverside Resort in Cleveland, along the Peace River. I'd like to introduce Dr. Martha Bereda, Executive Director of the Blanchard House Museum of African American History and Culture of Charlotte County. Today I will be talking with an early business owner and pioneer of Charlotte County's past. Please introduce yourself and tell us about what brought you to settle here. Hello, my name is George Brown and I came to settle along the Peace River in 1890. I came with Mr. Albert Dewey from Charleston to work the areas of a new phosphate industry. Many companies started to work dredging up pebble phosphate from the bottom of the Peace River. The phosphate was dredged, dried, and moved to Boca Grande to be loaded onto large ships. The dredges, lighters, workboats, and tugboats all needed repairing and maintenance. And that was my job. Part of the routine maintenance was pulling the lighters out of the water, scraping the bottoms, and retarring them to ensure that they were watertight. There was plenty of work to go around with a number of boats and lighters hauling hundreds of tons daily. Later, in 1911, I purchased three acres of land along the Peace River near Cleveland to build my own shipyard, the Cleveland Marine Steamways. The phosphate industry had shifted to moving phosphate by train to Boca Grande, so most of the lighters and tugs were not being used. Well, being one of the largest steamways in Southwest Florida, it was quite successful and had many employees. Some say you were one of Florida's first equal opportunity employers that you hired skilled and unskilled workers, both black and white, during the era of segregation. I was running my own business and I hired able workers and paid a fair wage according to what the job required. People needed to work and there were always boats to work on, especially when the northern tourists came down here during the winter, their yachts. Hmm. Mr. Brown, it sounds as if you were a very successful businessman. Can you share with us a favorite memory of yours? Because I owned my business and it was rather successful, I was asked by the county if I could pay my taxes early. They were short for payroll and needed my funds to cover their paychecks. Of course, I told them I was always happy to help out my community. It sounds like you made many important contributions to the community. Was there anything else that you contributed to the town? Yes, I owned a large amount of property in the Ponte Gorda area and when it came time for Charlotte County to split from DeSoto County, we became the new county seat. I sold the newly formed county some land along Taylor Street to build the first Charlotte County Courthouse. Well, Mr. Brown, thank you so much for visiting with us today and giving us a glimpse into the early days of our maritime history. If you're interested in more information about George Brown, you can view the historic mural at Charlotte County's old courthouse in Ponte Gorda. Please visit the Blanchard House Museum online at www blanchardhousemuseum.org. We're currently closed due to the coronavirus, but we have four online exhibits. Pandemic, which is an exhibit about the 1918 Spanish flu pandemic. Stay well, boosting your immune system using traditional African herbs, which is very interesting. The little town that Unity built, which is about the early days of Ponte Gorda, when we were called a unique sociology because of the way that blacks and whites work together to have a shared prosperity in Ponte Gorda. And finally, for May, we will have an exhibit of four extraordinary African-American women. One who was a stagecoach driver in the West. And you can sign up for our email newsletter and stay informed as to our upcoming events. Please visit us online. And something very special. We will have a George Brown exhibit at the old courthouse. Please come by and visit and learn more about our George Brown, a man who was exceptional and gave so much to our community. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Breda. Join me each month as I spotlight different icons from Charlotte County's past.